If you're fine reading small letters, yes. If not, get a tablet. I have seen a lot of Cobo Libra color reviews and they say you can read comics, but they don't show how well you can read comics. So I took the bait, I gave up into the FOMO and I bought it. Let me tell you, it's pretty neat. It's neat. I actually wanted to know if it's good for comics. Like, it's good for comics because that's the thing that I wanted to hear in the first place. I usually have to read like this, like this, maybe like this. Um, since there is no blue light or whatever, it's fine. It's very comfortable. But if you want to sit on your couch and read it like this, you're not going to be able to read the thing. I think the pocketbook color is around 8 inches, but with ebook readers, you're not going to find anything that big yet. Western comics are like, what, 10 inches? So, if you want to read them in their size, better get a tablet. You are not reading a lot of text, as much text as with a book, so the blue light is not as mm -hmm. much of an issue, I guess. I also went to an ophthalmologist yesterday and she told me that if you do the active pauses every 20 minutes, the blue light doesn't matter that much, but your eye condition might vary. You know, the colors are pretty nifty. The colors are pretty nifty. They look like that kind of newspaper style color. It's not a, a magazine type of uh, magazine type of color. They look like newspaper paper colors, you know, washed out, kind of dimmed out, but it's classy, it's kind of, it has a nice texture to it. And the, wow, this is the character I, I was waiting to appear in the this comic. I have been reading this comic for this character alone, this this character alone, this. Anyway, I, I guess I like newspapers and old timey type of stuff. But if you want them to be saturated, bright, all that, you're going to be disappointed. Pay attention to that. Oh, and you can read webtoons as well. But you're going to need either one tool or another tool. There is the Kindle Comic Converter that takes the webtoon file. You are going to need to download the webtoon, all the webtoon in one go and convert it through the Kindle Comic Converter. Or you're going to need color reader, which has the option to do a page by page kind of um, advancement instead of a scrolling type of um, <laughs> advancement, <laughs> moving the page. If you're going from Kindle, there is one weird thing from color reader is that dictionaries have to be in this weird dot dict format and there isn't that many of them with kindle you just could get a normal dictionary and it will work for that so it's kind of a downgrading that but on the contrast and stuff while reading books i don't know i don't know i mean i mean it has been pretty pretty fine for me for that i haven't really had an issue with the contrast there is an option in this career thing to increase the width of the letters or the zoom of the letters, or you know, you can just change the letters to be all bold or whatever. But then anyway, we, we got this for comics, right? For comics, it works. It works pretty well. For manga, perfect for manga. The spreads in manga usually are a little small because I put them so they spread horizontally instead of, you know, being cut. But normal pages look perfect, you know, the, the mangas are smaller, yeah, most, of, most of the pages are in black and white. If you want my most honest and serious opinion, get it, if you can read small letters. Alright, goodbye!